Welcome to Politics and Why with Sky Behind the Curtain, where we talk to industry leaders and people in charge about what's going on in New York City and state politics and government, because when it comes down to it, government is everything. And right now, I have the pleasure of being with my friend, Matt Cohen, the president and CEO of the Long Island Association. Matt is a millennial, a fellow millennial, and he is in charge of the region's premier business association. So how cool is that, Matt? It's very cool, Sky. <laughs> I love it. I'm so proud of you and so happy for you. So tell us how it's going. You assume this role a little earlier this year and you're in charge. Thanks, Sky. Yeah, no, listen, you're the best. We've known each other uh, since we were kids at this point. Um, and now we're all grown up, you know, uh, so you're doing great. I think you do a great job with everything you do. So thank you. Thanks for inviting me to do this with you. Uh, I've been doing a lot of these types of things lately, <laughs> interviews and podcasts and uh, press conferences, and it's been great. Uh, it's an incredible opportunity. I'm so grateful to my board of directors for um, having the confidence in me to choose me to run this organization. I understand it's a big deal. It's a big responsibility. Uh, and I'm having a blast while also trying to do everything I can to keep Long Island the best place to live on the planet. I know. So we knew each other for 11 years while you were Kevin Law's right hand running this organization with Kevin. And now you're in charge. So it really is like we were kids and now we're adults. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's uh, it's quite a trip, but it's been uh, it's been great. You know, um, it's I'm trying to build on all the success and all the great things that Kevin did. And he did a wonderful job as the president and CEO. And I'm going to do some new things and put my own spin on it and, and tackle some other priorities that I think are important to the region. You know, uh, I've been talking about some of the things that are important to me and our organization. You know, one my chief priority, my I'm laser focused on making Long Island as affordable as we can for young professionals and young families. You know, we know this is a high cost area, um, but you know, when you're a millennial or younger and you're trying to pay for your apartment that costs a lot of money while still trying to save for a house one day for a down payment for a house and your student loan payment and your car payment and your childcare payment, you know, it all adds up. And uh, we, you know, it's really, I'm laser focused on doing everything we can to try to make this place more affordable. And how do we do that? Like, is it with our government officials? What what can you do to make that happen? Well, listen, there's a lot of things that we could try to address, right? And Long Island's always going to be a high cost area, right? Mm -hmm. There's not much we can do that's going to dramatically change how expensive it is to live here. But what we can do is try to foster the type of business environment that creates good paying jobs that allow people to uh, afford things here because they're getting paid well, you know, they're getting paid well. So we need to turbocharge the economy. We need to be investing in our infrastructure, our downtowns, our transportation, our housing, all these types of things, and try to invest and support our business community so they can create the type of jobs that pay well enough that allow us to continue to live here. Do you think there's more of an appetite to do that coming out of the pandemic with this like newfound energy? Listen, the pandemic has fundamentally changed our way of life and the way we do business. Um, and, you know, it's really affected more than anybody, our small business community, you know, 90% of all businesses on Long Island are small businesses. And, you know, they went through hell and back during the pandemic. And for those that were able to survive, uh, I think all of us as a region, you know, we should look at ourselves as a family, right? We're all in the same family. We have to do what we can to support small businesses because, you know, they're really the lifeblood of our region. Mm -hmm. We are a family. We're a Long Island family. Exactly. Exactly. And I know you have a really busy schedule. So thanks for taking the time to do this with me. I'm sure you you're double booked for breakfast, lunch, dinner, coffee, cocktails. Yeah, I think I just had I just triple booked three breakfasts for tomorrow. So but that's it. Two <laughs> minutes and you're done. I'm, I got time for more questions. So, so what do you eat when you have three breakfasts in a row? <laughs> you do just coffee at one. Like, how do you do it? <laughs> uh, I always get the same thing at the diner, no matter what. I always get scrambled eggs well done with bacon, sometimes sausage instead, and a toasted jumbo bagel with cream cheese. <laughs> I wouldn't do that three times in a row, though, so I'd probably just get coffee on the second and third ones. <laughs> <laughs> so would you eat at the first one? No, I'll have to see what my mood is like tomorrow, Sky. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> okay, tell us another fun fact about yourself, Matt. 
A fun fact. Um, let's see. I don't know how fun it is. Uh, you know, I so listen, I, I, I have a 10 year old son named Jack. Uh, we actually, I'm a, one of the assistant coaches on his travel baseball team. And we have a game tonight at eight o'clock. The entire business community is welcome. 8 PM at Otsego park in Dix Hills. <laughs> um, what else is a fun fact? Uh, I don't know. Um, you put me on the spot. You're a long Islander. Is that a fun fact? <laughs> I grew up in Northport. Uh, it's my favorite community. Uh, it's a wonderful place to live. I live in Comac now, also a good community. Um, my favorite movie is Field of Dreams. It was just on yesterday and I watched the end of it. Uh, what else? I'm a big Mets fan. Okay. Uh, I like driving Jeep Wranglers with the top down on the beach. <laughs> um, what, what else, else do you do for fun? You know, Sky, uh, in all seriousness, I, you know, between work and everything else, you know, there's not a lot of downtime, but I yeah. try to spend as much time as I can with my family, uh, mm -hmm. like to watch baseball games, you know, and just uh, play basketball outside with my son, have a catch with them, you know, those types of things. See, you're just a normal guy that happens to be in charge of the region <laughs> here. <laughs> Listen, I'm very, I'm very chill. I'm, you know, I take my job very seriously. I consider this um, an, uh, an incredible responsibility um, and a challenge as well as an opportunity. Um, but I'm still me. I'm the same guy I was when I was vice president of government affairs or mm -hmm. when I was, you know, an aide to Chuck Schumer or any other government official. Um, I am who I am and I'm just trying to um, do what I can to make Long Island, uh, like I said, the best place on the planet. You know, and I give you a lot of credit, Matt, because you're very humble during this whole process and there really aren't a lot of big shot leaders that are humble and they are being <laughs> humble so it goes I, to you i appreciate that like i said uh i am who i am i'm not i don't want to i'm not going to try to be anybody else i'm going to uh um hopefully be successful just by the fact that uh this is personal to me and that i really care about it you know i've said it in the past um you know that my son's 10 years old right and i talk about affordability uh for the region and it's to me, the affordability of this region, this is an existential issue for Long Island. And I have said it before and I'll say it again. I don't want my son to feel like he can't afford to live here. Uh, so he's only 10, but you know, I'm gonna blink and he's gonna be going to college. And I wanna make sure that if he wants to live on Long Island, he can. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't wanna have to get on, a, on an airplane to see my grandkids one day. Mm -hmm. All right, so with that message, Keep it moving forward, Matt. Thank you for all that you do and congratulations again. Thanks for everything you do, Sky. You've been a great resource um, and, and, and given me a lot of guidance uh, in my career. And I appreciate all your feedback and your support and your help. And uh, you know, you're know, you a star and anything we could do together to partner uh, would be great. See, awesome. That's it, millennials who collaborate. That's the spirit. Thank you Absolutely. so much, Matt. Thanks, Sky. Take care.